Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with day four of my declutter week and today we're going to tackle all of my single shadows. I have all of my palettes with all of my singles right here. This is my Fiona palette starting with these. Um, so I'm going to go through all of these and declutter some stuff. It's not going to be a ruthless declutter by any means but um, I have been using all of my shadows this year and trying to go through all of them and I have actually reached for all of my singles so far this year. Um, and I feel like I, I know that I have a lot of eyeshadows, especially singles, and I have some beautiful, beautiful shades, like especially my pure eyeshadows, they are my treasure. But that also makes me realize that I maybe don't need all of my single eyeshadows because I would rather just keep everything that I absolutely love. So that's what I'm going to go through today. I'm going to declutter a couple of things here and there and just make sure that I have just things that I love. So before you jump into the declutter itself, if you're new here, Please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So first up, like I said, we have my Fiona palettes. This is the first one right here. I have them sorted by category um, in the within the stained gloss collection. And with the clear eyeshadows, I'm not going to get rid of anything. So here we have the jewel multi chromes going into the jewel lights, and then we begin with the hybrids. And then at the bottom here we have um, the deep iridescent, some of the pastel multichromes, and that's basically this palette. Then we continue with the pastel multichromes here, and then from there down to here we have the, sorry, down to here actually, we have the glitter multichromes, moving into the vibrant multichromes, into the, um, into the glitter vibrant. And then at the bottom here we have the earth vibrant multichromes, starting here. Then for the last palette we have some more of the Earth Vibrance moving into the Electric Multichromes um, and then we have some of the uh, Pearlescent Multichromes and then at the very end we, here we have some of the Dimensional Multichromes uh, before we move into the Iridescence which is the Glitter Iridescence, the Series 1 and the Series 2. Um, again I have the full stained gloss collection so that is all of those. Um, and then for the last palette here, we have some miscellaneous things. So you can see it right here. Um, up here, we have some of the shadows from the, what's it called, the Dragon Fruit palette, which they started releasing a single. So I have four of those. I actually have ordered a couple more. And here we have my most recent. At the bottom here, we have my most recent clean eyeshadows. We have the Stocking Duo at the first two. And then the remaining is from the uh, Advent Calendar. So these here, as well as the round shades at the bottom. And again, I will be keeping all of these. Um, I have the Hocus Ink Gloss Collection, like I said, and with these here, I haven't tried them out yet, so I want to play around with the circle shadows before I make a decision on them, but I will most likely keep those too. So those are my clear eyeshadows. I don't think I'm going to go back to these at all, maybe to like referral to see if I can compare some shadows. I'm not sure if I'm going to do lots of comparisons in this video, but yeah, if I need to, I will go back to these palettes, but otherwise that's my clear palettes done. Should we do my smaller palettes next? We have two of those right here. We have my Glam Shop shades and my Colourpop the product shades. Um, so let's start with those. In here we have, let me do this. In here we have mainly mattes now. I've actually already gone, gone through my Colourpop shadows earlier this year and decluttered a couple of shades. Um, especially like the shimmers because the shimmers are going a little bit bad or like they're getting old. Um, but the shimmers that are left in here I feel like are still of decent quality so I'm going to hold on to those. Um, regarding the mattes, um, I think for now I'm not going to declutter any of these because again I have gone through them and the only things that I have a lot of are like the more transition shades which I use the most anyway. Um, and again I have kind of narrowed this down a lot recently or in over the last like, two years. So this is all of the deposited ones that I have left from Colourpop. And they fit all in this palette. I don't think I'm going to declare any of these, like I said, at least not today, because I know I get on with the remaining shades in this palette. Then we have a Glam Shop right here. Um, and again, I really, really love these shades. They're really high quality. And I'm not really thinking there's anything that I necessarily want to get rid of. Um, there's a lot of iridescence here, and yes, I have iridescence in other palettes too, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure that I have some overlap with iridescence, but I do love these. This one I'm currently panning. We have this shade here, which is quite pretty. It's not my favorite, though. 
Um, I'm sure that I have a dupe of this one somewhere. Do I want to get rid of that one? I'm going to put it on to the side. Maybe I want to get rid of that one as I already have a lot of pink iridescence like this, especially with my Kelowna palette. Um, but the remaining of the iridescence I really like. I really like the formula of this one. I prefer that to the other one. And this is a pressed glitter, so I think that would be those kind of shades. I know I love this shade. This shade too. Uh, this is a really interesting one. The holy ones I adore. Uh, same with this one. This one here has been starting to get a little bit drier. So it's not as like pigmented as it used to be, but it's a really, really pretty shade and I love that one. So I'm going to hold on to it. Same with this one. Press glitter again. I don't reach for press glitters very often anymore, but I do love these two in here. They're some of my favorites. Um, if not my favorites, actually. Uh, this one here is quite a standard shimmer, to be honest. Um, yeah, maybe this one is one I can let go of. I'm going to pull out my JD Glow palette, which I'm going to go through after this, because I have some similar shades in here. So I'm just going to compare them to these two shades here, because I feel like, yeah, I feel like they are like the more impactful versions of that. You know, all of those kind of fall in the same family. So I think I'm going to let go of this shade too. So also just letting you know, this here was the shade Poswatia. And this is the shade Druid. I think I'm going to get rid of those two from this palette. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with this palette. And I'm going to hold on to the rest. And then we have my JD Glow singles. I don't buy from this brand anymore, but I bought these a couple years ago. And I love all of them. Yeah, these two here. My boyfriend said yesterday that these two are basically the same. Uh, well, they're not. I mean, this one here is more green. This one has like a brown base and it's a little bit more gold leaning. But yes, they are quite similar, but I love them both. Uh, this is quite a unique shade. This is like not my favorite, but it is again quite a unique shade. It's more of a satiny kind of shade, almost if you use it as a highlighter. Uh, and then these two are my absolute favorites. So yeah, I'm going to hold on to all of these. So those were all of those eyeshadows. Um, moving on next, we have my remaining palettes, which are which are all of my Cindy Grace palettes. You can see that I have six of them right here. So I'm going to go through these next and I'm going to go the, through them in the order that they're laying here. So first up, we have my Pastel Rosa shades. And I think this is where a lot of the decad is going to happen. These shadows are quite stunning, but I have better formulas in my indie shadows. Uh, my Cleona shadows and my Terramune shadows are better in formula and have quite a few of those. Um, and I also, like even the Glam Shop ones are better than these. So even though there's some stunning shades in here, and some formulas are better than others, I think it's time to go through this palette and let go of a few things. Also, I know a lot of people already know this, but these shadows, they started to smell a little bit, and I don't think they hold up as long as other shades. The Pastel Roses have um, kind of taken down all of the single shadows and started releasing them again. So I'm hoping they have updated the formula because again, this is not the most stable formula, but I do love some of these shades. So I'm definitely going to hold on to quite a few still, but I'm definitely going to get rid of everything in here that I do not absolutely love. So let's go through these. Um, I'm just going to start from the top and go through them. These four here were my first order and these three I absolutely love. However, this one here I mean, it's, it's very pretty, isn't it? And it's like, has a really, really strong red shift with a yellow base. But it's quite dry. Um, but it's, it is quite stunning. I'm going to hold on to that one for now. Because um, I'm thinking I have similar shades to that. But I don't think they're as vibrant as that one. So I'm going to hold on to it for now. And then we'll see. Um, this one here, I also quite like. Um, it's quite a vibrant shade again. It's like a bright pink and going into a gold. Um, yeah, I like that one too. So I'm going to hold on to that one for now. Um, same with this one. This one here is one that I have a better formula, but I don't reach for these shades very often. But it's quite sparkly. To be honest, I think just judging from these, this is the better formula, and I think I would rather wear this one than these two. So I'm going to hold on for that one for now. But that, what about these two? I'm you know what, I'm going to actually take these out and I'm going to put them in my maybe pile um, together with this shade which I'm going to compare later because yeah, I'm not sure about them for now and I just want to, I do just want to keep things that I absolutely love. Um, Sakura is another one that is, it looks so pretty in the pan but it's the base isn't strong enough for me. I mean you can see the base definitely but I feel like I, I recently ordered Thusa from Divina as well as Halley's Comet from Terra Moons and I feel like they're going to be quite similar to this one 
So I think I'm going to get rid of this shade. Um, I don't need it. And again, it's not in my favorite formula, so this one can go. I do really like these two here. Um, this one is the shade Rainbow, which is, is quite a stunning shade, but I feel like I have other things that are similar. And it's not, yeah, it's not my favorite. I don't reach for this kind of bright pinks very often, so I'm going to get rid of this one too. Let's go through these. These are quite flaky shades, but that one is really, really stunning. Um, what about this one here? That one is quite pretty too. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to those two. This here is I quite like too. Same as this and this. Those are all staying. Then we have this shade here, which is the shade Forest Fairy. It's quite a unique shade, but I don't reach for it very often. It's like a blue to green shift. So this one I'm going to let go as well. I just don't reach for those shades very often, and it's not my favorite kind of blue, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Then we have this shade here, which is like a blue to purple. Um, I like this shade. It's the shade Comet. But I feel like I have other shades that are similar. I feel like this is similar to some of my Cleona eyeshadows. So I'm going to let go of this one too. And again, it's, it's that drier formula and it's not as sparkly. So that one can go. I do really like this shade, which is Midnight Rose. This too, and this, this is one of my favorite pastel rose shades actually. So that one isn't going anywhere. I know this is uh, basically a G4 Starburst from Tamarins. Or oh, is this Starburst? I always mix them up. Now this is Starlight. So Starburst from Tamarins is a dupe of this one. Kind of. The formula is different, but the shade is similar. But I'm going to hold on to that one for now because I really, really, really love that eyeshadow. However, this shade here, which is Dragonfly, is also kind of like a dupe. Oh no, but that's so pretty though, isn't it? I do think I have a dupe for this shade though, so I'm going to take this one out and put it into my Maybe Pal. And everything in my Maybe Pal are things that I want to compare and see if I have anything similar, and if I do, they can go. So that is that shade. This shade here is Prism. I was thinking that I might let go of that one because I have similar things, but it's actually quite nice and unique, so I'm going to hold on to that one for now too. But then we have this shade here, which is... What shade is this? This is the shade Skyfall. Mmm... It's actually quite pretty. It's green, like a green to purple. But again, I don't reach for... Okay, that is much more impactful though. It's like a turquoise to a purple. But it's quite nice. So I'm going to hold on to that one. Um, this shade I really like. That's the shade Perry. What's it called? Very Perry. like that one. What about this one here? It's like a pink to green. It's the shade Magical. Okay, that's quite pretty. It's more of a satiny shade, but it's really, really shiny and very pretty. Um, so I'm going to hold on to that one too. I am a sucker of these kind of green shades. And that one is quite pretty. I was going to say maybe I can let go of this one, but no, it is really stunning. And I do love those type of shades. This shade here is very, very sparkly. I think this is the shade Bombshell. It's one of the better irides iridescence that I have from the Pastel Roses. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to that one. However, the next to it is Taurus, I think. And this one is not very nice. I mean, it is nice, but it's not as good as some of the other kind of red iridescent that I have. It's right there. Uh, it's a dupe of like um, Red Giant from Terra Moons, Halo from Cleona, no, sorry, Ray from Cleona, um, and other things. So I'm going to let go of this one because it's not as shiny as those. And I do have similar shades to this one. Then we have this shade here, which is Ultraviolet, which is... Like an ultraviolet shade. Um, I think I'm going to compare this one too. I think I might have similar shades to that one. But it's quite pretty. But I'm going to put it into my maybe pile to compare. This one here is a really, really vibrant shade. This is the shade Dreamscape. It is really pretty. Um, okay, that one is super shifty. I was going to say I think I have similar shades to that. But I don't think I do actually. It's really, really stunning. That's one of the better formulas from the Pastel Roses. Then we have this shade, which is the shade Pyramid. I think I can let go of this one. It's it's nice. It's like a kind of antique gold with a little bit of a peach sheen and going into green sheen, but it's nothing special. I have other things that I'm sure are similar, so I can let go of this one too. This here is another one of my favorites, same as this one. And then this one here is another one of those kind of red sheeny things. I'm going to compare it to this shade here. Because they are quite similar. This one is a little bit more orange leaning. This one is a bit more red leaning. I don't think I need both. I do think I'm going to get rid of this one here. Which is the shade Lure. Because the formula isn't 
super nice and this one is way better so i'm gonna get rid of this one i'm sure i have other things that are similar from terra moon so i'm gonna get rid of blur then we have this shade here which is soy sight i think that's how you say it that's such a unique shade though i'm gonna say i think i have similar shades from that i think people say that's a dupe from like it's for the shade tool from the um, from glam shop which i do have right here but i think the base is different um yeah it's not as like tools not as bright and it's also it's quite different i mean give similar vibes but i am gonna hold on to that shade for now i was ready to declutter this one but i think i'm gonna hold on to it for now because it's quite unique then we have this shade here which is the shade galaxy dust this is another one that i'm gonna get rid of i have similar shades to this this is not very sparkly very shiny so this one can go then we have this shade which is citrus um it's just like a um, yellow kind of shimmer it has a little bit of a green shift to it but again it's not very impactful and i have other yellow shimmers that are better so this one can go as well i do really like this one shade here uh, but this one i do want to get rid of i know this one is one of the first one i thought of that i was going to get rid of it's the shade angel it is a nice kind of undertoned blue and um, like the, the undertone of it is quite nice but it's not very sparkly it's like a bit too frosty for me and i don't love it so i'm gonna get rid of this one okay i'm doing really really well with this palette um, and i really love the look of this one now um, it's funny when i look at the other shades that i got rid of they're all, those are like the really really vibrant shades and they don't look as sparkly and textured so i definitely have a type um but yeah so that is that row and then lastly around here we have one more iridescent which is the shade fairy dust i know that one is quite nice too similar formula to this one then we have this shade which is palm and um, this one i do quite like as well it's yeah it's just like a bright green shift going into like a brownie purple like that one a lot um then we have this one which was a black friday gift with purchase which I thought was quite a boring shade, but wearing it on my eyes, I really, really enjoyed it. And it was actually way nicer than I thought. So I think I'm gonna hold on to that one too. And there we have that palette done for now. Really happy with that. I got rid of a lot of shades, um, uh, but that's needed because this is probably one of my least favorite indie brands at the moment. So I needed to get rid of some of the shades in here, especially the ones that I didn't love. So yeah, that is this palette. Moving on to the next palette, we have my Terra Moons. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to get rid of any of these shades in here because I, I absolutely love my Terra Moons eyeshadows. But I might compare some things and see if I have something similar to Maybe Pile. Um, so let's do that first. First up, we had this shade here, which was the shade Marshmallow. This one is a super pretty shade. Um, it looks like that. But I'm thinking, I don't think it's going to be that similar to this shade, Crimson Eclipse. I mean, it's it's a similar vibe, but this one is definitely a little bit more kind of red leaning, whereas this one is more pink. This, and this one goes into more of a kind of orange gold one. This one goes almost into like a green. Uh, but similar vibes. Um, good to know. Then we also have this shade here, which is the shade Dragonfly, which I believe is very similar to this shade here, which is Coalescence, as well as another one in my next palette. Yeah, so this one is not that similar, but I have another one in the next palette, which is the shade uh, Ganymede, which I think is going to be quite similar, but yeah, that is that shade. Anything else for my Maybe Pow? Maybe one of the iridescents. This here was the pink one uh, from Glam Shop. Let me swatch that one out too. I mean, I think I have something similar to this from Cleona for sure. Um, so maybe I should wait with this one until then, but I mean... No, that's not the same. Um, yeah, I think nothing from the iridescence here, but let's move on to the next palette because, again, I'm going to hold on to everything in here because I do love everything from Terra Moons. So here you can see I have a continuing on, on the Terra Moons eyeshadows, and then we have Master Big Grace starting down here. But this shade here is what I think is going to be similar to Dragonfly. And yes, it is basically a dupe. Uh, this one is more textured, though, and more shiny, so I can get rid of Dragonfly. We also have a yellow shimmer right here, which I know has like a blue shift to it, but I'm thinking about this one here, Pixie. Actually, no, that has a red shift to it, doesn't it? So that won't be the same. Uh, maybe it's similar to Ultraviolet. No, um, that was a bit of a stretch. I don't know why I swatched those, but yeah, I think from here, anything similar to this shade? No. 
yeah, I don't think there's anything to compare in that palette. So that is my Terry Moon shadows. And again, I'm going to hold on to all of those. Okay, so let's move on to my Sydney Grace shadows next. I do love my mattes from Sydney Grace, uh, but some of the shimmers I do not love as much. First up, we have this shade here, which is the shade Delivered Freely. Um, this is quite a deep brown kind of shade, and I don't think I want to hold on to this one anymore. It is nice. The formula is definitely there. But yeah, it's just not my favorite, so I'm going to get let go of that shade. Um, I love these. Uh, this shade here I quite like too. That's the shade Nomadic Radiance. Uh, but this shade here is the shadow um, Delicate Design. It's a really, really deep kind of silver shade with a little bit of a green kind of hint to it. But I don't reach for these shades very often either, so I'm going to let go of that one. I think, I mean, these two would be nice to hold on to for like BYOPs and like dupe the vibes and stuff. But... Since I don't use them, I want to go with those two. But the rest of these shades here, I'm going to hold on to for now. Then we have the second palette right here. And there's a lot of shades in here that I love. Um, I'm looking at like the top two rows. And I don't think there's anything here that really that I want to get rid of. I like all of the shades here. The only thing would be maybe like these two are quite similar. Those two shadows. I mean, yeah, they are. Maybe I don't need both of those. What's this the one there? This is the shade Dear Reader. And then this is the shade Always Yours. They are so similar. This one's a little bit more kind of rosy. This is a bit more cool toned. Hmm. I'm gonna hold on to them. For now, because both of them are a nice quality. I like that shade. It's just a bit dis too similar. But then we also have this one, to be fair, which is what shade is this? Siren. And to be honest, Siren is like a little bit of a deeper version of this. What if I topped, right? What if I top this one on top of Siren? Okay, if I top this shade here on top of Siren. Yeah, if I top this shade here on top of Siren, it basically makes that shade. So I think you can get rid of Always Yours. Yeah, that one can go because I do have similar shades, as you can see. Um, what about here? This row I really like too. Nothing really that stands out that I want to get rid of. What about here? No, Siren, I already compared. I want to hold on to that one. Um, here we actually have a yellow shimmer which looks like that. And also, by the way, I know I already put this in the cloudy pile, not my uh, kind of maybe pile, but I want to compare them anyway. That was the shade Citrus from the Pesto Roses. Yeah, not the same, but yeah, you, they give us a similar vibe. This one has a pink shift, so I don't think that's going to be similar, but I do want to hold on to this one because I don't have too many yellow shimmers and that one is really stunning. Um, anything else? What about this shade here, which I think is Lemon Cream? It's like a really, really bright highlighting shade. I'm going to hold on to that one. I don't have too many highlighting shades like that. So that one can stay. Anything else? I mean, this hot pink. Don't reach for that very often. But I did wear it actually in my crease. And I quite like that one. So I think I'm going to hold on to that one for now. At least one more decluttered round. Um, then we have these three shimmers. Maybe these are like the maybes from this row. What's this one here? Cinnamon Toast. This one is a bit too like grey toned for me. So I'm going to get rid of Cinnamon Toast. Um, I like this shade, which is the purple called Violet. It's a unique kind of undertone. And then we have this shade here, which is the shade uh, Traveling Elegance. A bit too deep for me, so I'm going to get rid of that one too. But then the rest of this I'm going to hold on to. This is the last of my Sydney Grey shadows. Um, and... A lot of these are like shades that I actually bought myself. And um, there's a couple shades on here that I got as free gifts with purchase. Um, which is, you know, the ones that I decluttered are all, I think, free gifts with purchase. It's not things that I purchased myself. Um, but yeah, you can see there's a lot of mattes in here. And I love the mattes. So I'm going to hold on to those. But is there anything I want to declutter when it comes to like the rest? I'm looking at like the shades down here, maybe. Like, what about this shade? But I don't have too many blues, so I'm going to hold on to that one. It's quite a nice undertone. 
Same as this one. I like the undertone of that one too. I don't think there's anything actually in this palette that I want to get rid of. I like the shades in here, so I'm going to hold on to all of the things from this palette. And then we have come to the last palette, which is my kind of miscellaneous brands. So we have, this is like, we have some of the potter shades basically, some Colourpop pressed glitters. Um, we have, yeah, some, like I said, some of the potter shades, Anastasia, Juvia's Place, um, Isadora. What else do we have? We have some Makeup Geek singles, some MAC singles, some NYX potter shades, and some from my Beauty Bay palette. I think that's mainly what's here. So I think this might be a few things in here that I want to get rid of. So let me just go through the palette. So let's go through this palette. Uh, my camera had to take a break because it was overheating. So in the meantime, I actually swatched out this pink shade here together with the um, one from Sydney Grace. So I thought they would be similar. This one here is from Sydney Grace, this one here is this one here. And yes, they are both bright pinks, but this one is a bit more warm toned. This is a bit more cool toned. So I'm going to hold on to both for now. Um, I mean, I know that might be excessive, but I think it's fun. I think it, that kind of shade is fun. Um, the press glitters here, I'm very torn about because I don't love these. I don't love them on my eyes. They're not what, the type of thing I go for anymore. I much rather go for like the kind of scattered sparkles that are in Indian shadows now. But I love some of these. Like these two shades here, I love. Uh, I like this shade, same as this one. I like these actually as highlighters on festivals and things like that. Um, the green one I like too. But some of these, again, I don't love. However, I think I'm going to hold on to them and start using them on my nails and try to use them up that way because you can go through glitters quite quickly, especially like as nail polish. So I think maybe I will put them into project pans and try to pan them um, because, again, I think they will be beautiful on my nails. It's just that I don't love them, like the effect of them on my eyes anymore. So I'm going to hold on to all of them for now, but I will probably start going through these shades moving forward. Then we have these shades, which I really love. I still love the quality. I've had these shades for 10 plus years, probably. Um, the quality is still really, really nice. So I'm going to hold on to them. Uh, they are both from Isadora. This shade here, I always watch. I'm going to uh, hold on to. Um, same as these. These shades, let me see, from here to here are from the UVS Place Tri Palette, which is, was one of my favorite color, color story wise, but a lot of shades in there were like excessive and I didn't need them, so I decluttered some of them. Uh, but then, yeah, a lot of these are Juvia's plays. We have some MAC, this is the shade Rule, Soft Brown and Cory. Um, love all of those. Again, I have dwindled down that collection quite a bit. However, this shade here, I always hold on to it because I feel like a satin is nice, but as you can see, the pigmentation just isn't there anymore. Um, so I'm going to let go of this one, which is the shade Patina. So that one can go for MAC. We have some Makeup Geek singles next, um, which we have right here, down to there. And again, I like all of these. Again, I have dwindled down this collection too a lot over the years, so those that are left can stay. Um, these two shades, I actually like all of these. These are from like a NYX palette that I depotted. I just switched, switched that over the MAC shade because I completely forgot it was there. That's how bad the pigmentation is. But yeah, those two are quite nice shades. Terrible swatches, but I like those shades. Um, this one here, though, was from um, Tom Ford palette. And it's really nice, like sparkly. I mean, that is really nice. But the other one I had of this irritated my eyes. I had another one before from that same palette. And they, they're just getting really old. And I feel like I have sparkly shades now that are better. So I'm going to let go of this one, too. And then these three down here, I have already, like, the, these are the three that I held on to from my NYX Taurus palette when I depotted that. I want to see how this one compares to that shade here. Okay, they're actually quite similar. Not the same, but very similar. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't need both of those. I'm going to get rid of this one here. So I don't need both of them. And this one is newer. Although this one is like a bit brighter and more fun. But I feel like it's not swatching as well. Mm -hmm, that's so hard. No, I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, and then... 
I think that's that from this palette. I think I want to hold on to the rest of these. And that is also the last of my palettes. So just an overuse to see if there's anything else I can find that I want to get rid of. This one I just did. Looks all good to me. So this one is done. We have my Sydney Grey shades. I like this palette a lot. Don't think I'm going to get rid of anything in here. I have a lot of unique mattes and the shimmers. I do like all of them. So yeah, this one can stay too. We have the next Sydney Grace palette looking like this. And again, it looks way better now getting rid of those, some of those darker shades. And I like everything that's left in here. So I think that's a good place to stand. Then we have the remaining of my Sydney Grey shades as well as my Terra Moons. Um, and I like the shades down here. I love my Terra Moons. I know I'm not going to get rid of any more Terra Moons. But that palette. We have this one here which has some more of my Terra Moons shades. Again, keeping all of these. We have the Pastel Roses palette. We're looking at it now. I love everything that's in here. I love how like sparkly everything looks now compared to before. And I'm just looking over if there's anything else I think I want to get rid of. But I like everything that's in here, so yeah, the rest of this can stay. We had my Jelly Glow palette. Then we have this palette, which was my um, Glam Shop shades. Again, love everything that's left in here. My Colourpop palette, which I didn't do anything with, but I'm happy with everything that's in here too. Then we have my Cleona palettes, and again, I'm not going to rid of anything in here. However, I'm going to use this palette to compare to some of the shades that I got rid of. Especially the iridescence, um, just to see if I can get rid of the remaining four shades in my uh, maybe pan. But these things here, I don't think it's anything really super similar. Maybe this shade. No. I think this palette is fine. There's all my newest shades. So yeah, nothing there. But we have this palette here with some iridescent shades. So I'm going to compare those. And we have Glam Shop Post Watia, again right there. And I believe that's going to be similar to some of these shades. Yeah, that one is already very, very similar. It goes into more of a green gold versus it goes into more of a peach. But otherwise, they are basically the same. Okay, that one too, very, very similar. I mean, they're not exact, but I think they are similar enough that I can get rid of this one, which was from Glam Shop in the shade Post Watia. By the way, sorry if you can hear some crunching in the background. My dog decided to have her breakfast, but um, yeah, I'm almost done with the video anyway. So this one here is the shade Ultraviolet from the Pastel Roses. Looks like that. And obviously, I'm first of all going to compare that to the shade, which is the shade um, UV from Cleona. This one is a little bit more blooming, but I mean, they are very, very similar. But it's not as sparkly, though. Hmm, this one also has a bit of a shift to going to like a pink and a peach. Maybe that is more unique than I thought, the ultraviolet shade. Maybe I should hold on to that one. Um, I think I will. Uh, actually, I want to compare it to this shade too first. Mm, that is similar, but it's not as ultraviolet. Yeah, I'm going to hold on to this one for now. It's going to stay for my baby pile. Do I have anything that's similar to this shade, which was the shade Marshmallow? Mm, I think I do have something from Cleona that's similar to this one. Just to remember which one. I mean, even this shade. It's not the same, though. Two don't they're the same, but they have different shifts. That one is darker. So maybe nothing from this specific palette. Maybe Palace is, like, similar. I mean, yes, but it's not as deep, but they're, those are very, very similar. But let me keep looking. Maybe this shade here, which is Torch. No, that's more red and kind of more vibrant. Blaze. I mean, Blaze is also similar. You know what? It's not exact, but I feel like I have enough similar shades that I can get rid of Marshmallow from the Pastel Roses. Then lastly, we have this shade here, which was the shade Pixie. And I think this one is similar to the shade... Throne. Throne might not be as intense. No, the red shift in that one isn't nearly as intense, but I think if I take that shade and I top it with shade ray. Yeah, 
those get very very similar i don't know how well you can pick it up on camera i think if i had a glue the glue it would be even better but yeah i can basically recreate this shade with those two so i'm gonna get rid of this one too which is the shade pixie and then lastly the final palette we have from fiona is this one right here which you know what i actually might have something quite similar to the shade marshmallow in here there's definitely quite a few shades that are similar so that's a good thing that i got rid of that one but that is the final palette so that's good as well i got rid of three out of my four in my maybe piles so let me show you everything that i got rid of so we have four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two and twenty three so these 23 shades right here, out of center, there we go. These 23 shades right there are what I'm getting rid of. Yes, they are pretty. Um, and yeah, I'm sure that like some people would love these. But for me, I used to have duplicate shades or they use not my vibe. Um, so I'm really, really happy with this. Again, a lot of these are the pasta roses. Um, this one, let me separate them to see how many they are. Yeah, so this here, all of these are my pastel rosa shades. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 out of the ones are pastel roses. And then we have 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, 10 left, which are miscellaneous brands. And um, we have 5 Sydney Grays. We have uh, 2 Glam Shop. Then we have a MAC, a Depotted Comfort Shade, and a Depotted Mix Shade. So those are the things that I'm going to get rid of. Again, not a massive declutter. And again, I know that I have a lot, a lot of single shadows. I think I had exactly 500 before. Um, so obviously 23 is not that much. It is about 5%. If I did 50, that would be 10%, uh, so about 5% just under. So again, not that massive, but I have over the years windled down my single eyeshadow collection quite a bit. Um, and especially last year, I did a quite an extensive single eyeshadow declutter when I compared all the shades like by shade. So if you go back to that one, if you want to see that, I can have that link down below actually, so you can check out that video because that was like about a year ago and I got rid of a lot of shades then. So that is it for today, you guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this declutter. Tomorrow is going to be the final day of declutter week and you might know what is remaining from these videos of what I haven't gone through yet. Um, so you can look forward to that. But I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.